what is leadership and why should you study it at Erdogan College? I'm Tony Kubunduros, Professor of Philosophy and Leadership. Today I'd like to share with you the exciting things we're doing in the leadership program at Erdogan College. At the end of my short presentation, I have a, a great offer for interest to students and their parents, so stick around. Um, what is leadership? We'll start with this question. So leadership is a process of influencing people to accomplish a common goal and to improve the organization. We're emphasizing some key words here. The idea that it's a process, uh, it takes time. The idea of influence, working with people, and understanding ourselves and pursuing a common goal. And over, of course, the idea is to improve the organization or the team overall. Leadership entails three equally important components. We need to understand all three of them very, very well understanding uh, the position of a leader, what, what that means and how to do it. The idea of followers is also very important. The role of followers is crucial for leadership to be effective and ethical. And then the idea of context, because different contexts are going to introduce different variables that we need to take into account and understand very well. Becoming a leader will entail primarily three things. Education, learning about leadership. We can do this in the classroom through books, through talking to people, through reading interviews, through watching people speak and uh, do things as leaders. Training, right? This is where we uh, learn techniques, tactics, all sorts of skills by which to do leadership. And then development, this is the idea of cultivating the ability to navigate complex social environments where we need to understand ourselves and others in context and work well with others. Some central questions we ask in the leadership program are, uh, these are a few of many, are there different types of leadership and which one is better? It turns out there are a lot of types of leadership and some are going to fit better in different contexts. In a good, is a good leader also an ethical leader? If, if so, why? This is also a central question and we emphasize ethics quite a bit in our program. What do I need to know and be able to do in order to be a good leader? Is there a list? Can we think about the list, revise it, create our own, and so on? Careers in leadership, as you can see, are plentiful. Um, leadership skills intersect with all sorts of careers. Um, so cultivating and acquiring leadership skills uh, in college is actually a, a very helpful uh, thing uh, students can do. Why study leadership? Let's talk a little bit about uh, you in the job market or what the job market looks like. The 21st century employer wants employees with deep understanding of leadership and multiple leadership skills. Some of these are good character, creativity, being able to be creative, problem solving, ethical reasoning, effective communication, ability to motivate, adaptability to changing conditions, uh, conditions in the workplace, uh, and in our lives are changing quickly, so we need to be able to adapt and then working well with various groups of people who may not share our interests, our values, and so on, come from different cultures, and so on. Uh, the second big reason to want to study leadership is becoming a better ver version of yourself and helping other people. So leadership education is about developing myself into a fuller person, understanding what, what I'm like, where I can be effective, what my strengths and weaknesses are, and so on. And then ethical leaders are committed to improving the conditions of those around them. So they have uh, a lot to contribute to others. Now, there are three primary reasons that make the leadership program at Adrian College unique. I'm really excited to talk about uh, these three with you. So the first one is that we offer an undergraduate major. Adrian College is one of a few schools uh, in the United States that offers a bachelor's degree in leadership at the undergraduate level. Uh, what are other institutions doing? A lot of other institutions offer leadership degrees at the master's level, which occurs after you finish your undergraduate degree, or leadership certificates that you could uh, get while you're studying uh, other things in your four years as an undergraduate student. But that means usually, especially on the master's level, more money and longer time to prepare for a career. If you go for a leadership certificate after you finish your your uh, degree somewhere, you're going to have to pay more money for it. Um, and the other thing that happens at other colleges is, uh, a lot of other colleges and institutions is they're fully online. 
but that that could be a problem because we're not learning leadership in context and outside the classroom if that happens we're doing it online but at adrian college we emphasize placing students in leadership environments to practice what they learn joining groups organizations internships those sorts of things um, double major this is another uh, uh, aspect of the leadership program at Adrian College that I think is unique and it's great. We designed the leadership major to be meaningfully combined with any other major offered at Adrian College. Adrian College students may complete two majors in four years while most other students at undergraduate institutions are thinking about only completing one. Um, many major in leadership and business accounting communications political science modern languages psychology social work or other majors so you can combine the leadership major with another major and when you graduate you have sort of two specialties when you come out um, and then several classes you take in a major will count towards the leadership major as well so for example you may take some business classes for your business degree those may count towards the leadership major as well double majoring in leadership and another major has a triple advantage in my opinion the costs are the same as having one major it does not re require taking any additional credits than what's required for students to graduate from Adrian college in four years and it provides a better education and job preparation so i think uh, it's important to take those into account the third reason, um, the third aspect that makes uh, Adrian College, the Adrian College Leadership Program unique is what our students study and how. We apply the liberal arts in a 21st century context, which means we bring together all the disciplines relevant to leadership education and training, such as philosophy, communications, business, psychology, political science, and a lot of others. And our leadership program offers a unique array of classes such as leadership capabilities, this is a course taught by the president of the college, uh, Dr. Docking. Um, it's a very popular course. We offer it as part of our curri curriculum, so you get to be exposed to uh, somebody like him. And then leadership and ethics, leadership in language. We talk about language quite a bit. Non-Western perspective of leadership. How do other cultures uh, and countries look at, or groups look at leadership that don't come from a Western environment and that's crucial to understand and this is just a sample of classes we have offered many more than this our leadership program also emphasizes ethics a good leader is an ethical leader who can get things done our leadership program emphasizes developing our students self-concept as leaders we do this through expertise so we uh, emphasize a lot of things in the classroom writing uh, speaking and so on and learning uh, the uh, leadership theories and other things in class experience learning by doing outside of the classroom uh, it's easy to learn things in books and not be able to apply them but i think uh, we emphasize experience quite a bit and then embeddedness we want you to develop an increased capacity to understand others through meaningful interaction so we're going to put you in groups and in environments where you can practice what you learn with other people uh, in specific contexts and then the fact that we emphasize uh, leadership ethics in our program um, is uh, is great i think because there's a lot of evidence that ethical leaders are better leaders uh, people who work for ethical leaders and ethical organizations do better than people who don't um, they are more motivated happier exhibit more citizenship behavior so they go the extra mile when maybe they don't necessarily have to they take more in initiative are more innovative and their groups perform much better um, and then so for prospective students and their parents have a, a great offer here um, we want you to experience what it's like to be an Adrian College leadership st student before you become one so join us for an online one-on-one -on -one class and to answer your questions uh, to sign up for that uh, contact me there's my email uh, I'd be glad to talk with you um, instead of an appointment online I send you a link and then we can connect and then uh, last page here here's some contact information the other members of our department professor stewart professor spence professor elliott and professor detweiler are also available and uh, willing to answer any questions you may have i hope to see you soon 
thanks for spending a little bit of time with us.